Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Listen, I wasn't gonna do a video on this, but I figured why not? All right, for you guys out there may be interested. As you know, I've been doing updates, little mods on my Super Duty, and I end up picking up, let me show you guys, I end up picking up Tough Skin. I guess you can call this a, I don't know what you can call this thing. I don't know what to call this, all right? <laughs> it's like a little skin that protects the paint, especially to the doorway. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, all right, I'm about to install it. It goes into this little saddle area right here. Now, I had one there before. And actually, let me show you exactly what it is. It's a one I picked up on Amazon. Wasn't too happy with it. Um, very cheap, very flimsy. All right, as you can see right here, it had a little carbon fiber. All right, put it on here, not happy with it. It's very thin, very cheaply made. So again, one of those bargain type of devices from Amazon, so let me try it. And again, this is something that you get what you paid for, so I'm not happy with it. So I end up deciding to go up a little more upscale with this one. All right, so my advice guys, if you're doing these type of mods, stay away from the cheap ones poorly constructed it's really you know it does protect it somewhat but if you want some type of durability it's not going to do the job so i end up going again with the tough skin one here's the model number but uh i'll put a link below on this particular model again i got it from my favorite store amazon um, some things like you said if you're gonna you gotta pay to play all right so if you want quality you're gonna have to spend the money for it and tough skin i'm so happy i'm happy with so far so i'm gonna add this to the back now the reason why i'm adding to the back really because of uh my boys all right I got young kids and you know when they get up in here they step in everything all right sand gravel dirt what doesn't matter and they always tracking stuff in the back here so this is just to protect it from when they step on here and if they kick this here it doesn't scratch this finish so that's pretty much why I'm installing this. So, all right, that was really long-winded on adding this piece, and it's very easy to do, guys. Just gotta thoroughly clean it. Make sure you get alcohol to clean off whatever wax. Clean it thoroughly. Have a fiber fiber cloth towel to get everything off. So that's all I'm gonna do now. All right, guys. I just want to show it to you before I install it. It comes this way and. In the back of it, it has a 3M adhesive backing to this, so you're pretty much gonna take this off, just peel it off and stick it on. So what I suggest before you just get a, figure out how you're gonna line it up, usually you try to line it up to these two um, points here. See how far you wanna go up on it, on it. Pretty much gonna try to push it upward and then you're just gonna bend downward on it, something like that. All right, so I hope that makes sense to you. And again, and that's this is going to cover this area from getting all scratched up. All right, so let me continue on with that. Just want to show it to you before I install it. And let me get it done. All right, guys. Also want to show it to you, before you take the tape off, there's a little lip. See, if you push it under, see how it's going underneath this little rubber gasket? So I'm going to set mine up. So before I take it off, I'm going to start with the... The top end peel it off to get it slipped under here and get it started and then take off the back so it goes underneath this lip i think that's a better look so any water and anything gets to it doesn't get trapped behind this here it'll roll right off so i hope that makes sense to you all right just a little just little tips that you don't realize about putting this on until you actually do it so i just want to point that out to you so that's how I'm gonna install mine. It's gonna go pretty much something like this, all right? And it's gonna look pretty nice. All right, so let me get that installed and we'll come back to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna, okay, guys, I just wanna show you this real quick. Uh, what I'm doing, just expose it, fold it back. Don't take everything off the same time, all right? Just fold, expose the top layer, fold it back some, and then take that part, get it underneath this little rubber spot. Once you get it there, then you peel off the rest of the paper. All right. So that's how I'm approaching this, how, how to install this. All right. So let me continue on. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I have it underneath the lip, this part here. Now I'm just going to 
push down on it and get it seated in. Have it lined up between the two lines or here to here. And now it's just simply just peeling this off and coming down and wrapping it down. And that simple. All right. So let me get this done. And that's it, guys. And I'll be done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other side. And we'll come back to it. And I'll show you the final results. All right, guys. Got it installed. Looks it's night and day. Guys, I just want to show you. This is the one I took off on the other side. It's very thin plastic. All right. And this is how this look over here. Definitely, Tough Skin has definitely got the better quality protector than this little plastic. Again, it did its job, but it was ripping and it just didn't sit right. But other than that, again, stay away from this type of material for this application because uh, it's really not worth it, in my opinion. The Tough Skin Doyle Seal or protector is a lot much better. So guys, all right, that was just a quick video. Just want to show it to you. If this was helpful, please consider like, subscribe, and I'll check you out on the next one. Later.